There was a court ruling today in the case of a California teenager declared brain dead after a tonsillectomy went terribly wrong. John Blackstone's been covering the story and has today's developments. The family of Jahai McMath was back in court arguing for more medical intervention by Oakland Children's Hospital for the 13-year-old. Attorney for the hospital, is Douglas an Strauss. Human being. There is no evidence in this record from anyone that suggests that Jahai McMath has any chance of recovering any brain function. That is a sad but undisputed fact. Latasha Winkfield, McMath's mother, hopes her daughter may recover if taken to a long-term care facility. To make that move possible, the family's attorney, Christopher Dolan, asked the court to order Children's Hospital to perform surgery to insert breathing and feeding tubes. This is really a, a critical issue because as the time moves forward, any chance that Jahai has to receive any type of neurorehabilitative care, which her family seeks to pursue, is expiring. Given her status as a deceased human being, uh, it is medically unwarranted, legally unprecedented, and, and frankly unfathomable to the hospital that a court would contemplate ordering uh, surgery be performed on that dead body. If we could address her as Jahai, whether or not she's living or dead, it, it's very harmful to the parents to keep hearing her name, the body, the deceased, the corpse. We don't have to agree upon whether she's alive or dead, but out of dignity, we'd request that we just use her name. The judge sided with the hospital. I'm going to deny the request. It will not be forced to perform surgery on McMath. Both sides did agree to a plan that would allow the family to remove her from the hospital. The family's belief that she's still alive suffered another setback today. Maurice, the county coroner, issued a death certificate stating that Jahai McMath died on December 12th. John Blackstone in San Francisco tonight.